It's locker talk. Let's let's get started right here. Oh, oh wow, look at this. Oh man, that's so cool. What's this? Oh, this is another one. <laughs> Game Boy Advance SP. Oh, wait a second. Oh guys, what's this? What oh yes. <laughs> This will be the first bin that we open in this in this locker. Whoa, 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 what? Okay, what do we got here? Oh gosh, guys. <gasps> do you see what I'm seeing? Do you realize what this is right here? I mean, there's a couple of them. Oh, you know what these are? These are little protectors for the games. There's games in there. Revmaster. R Lamond Revmaster. It looks very high end. Very, very high end. All this wow. The rats were getting their drink on. All right, what's up, locker nuts? Ready? Second train locker, day two. Day two of digging. We've been here previously, but day two of digging. You guys ready? Let's get into it. Best locker. Well, this one and the one down the road, the two lockers I bought, train lockers, best lockers we've ever bought. Best lockers, probably, I'd say that anyone's ever bought on YouTube, at least, that they showed on YouTube. I know better lockers have been bought, but not on YouTube. I don't think so. So, you ready? With that anticipation, I know you're ready. Let's go. It's locker time. All right, a little bit less stuff here. I actually, I'm a little dirty already because I already opened this, took a few boxes down to the other unit and a couple of those rails right there too. I got these shelves down there too. These are double decker. The other ones are single story, but I needed a middle level on some of those. So I took those down as well as a couple of sheets of this. And then I took some of the already processed boxes down. Yeah, got a little room now. It's kind of nice. I'll pull this stuff out, but what should we do today guys what should we do we got so many options i kind of feel like this is where i should work but i kind of feel like that's where i want to work you know what i'm saying kind of want to clear the aisles first and then get in here um no nah, i think i'm gonna start here and i gotta get my gloves on because there is so much rat infestation over in this area yeah i need to get uh i need to get gloved up but this is what we're gonna do yeah i'm excited are you guys excited <laughs> oh i so look forward to these days it's so fun like I said on the other one, I'm really not looking forward to the day when I'm done with this. Oh, okay, there we go. I got a little bit of the, uh, the stuff out of here, cleared some area to walk in and work. Yeah, okay. That feels good, I gotta be honest with you. Okay, I got in that deep last time. Let's go back over here. Let's let's get started right here. Let's go in here. Oh, this is uh, kind of light. I have a feeling this might be another one of those handmade planes. No, this is something different. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, first of all, we got a German soldier model to Mia. And then look at this model. Voyage to the bottom of the sea. Mobius. Wow. How cool is that? I've not seen Mobius before. That's a, definitely something a little different. Skill level three. I don't see a model number on there. Oh, item number 707. Sea view, huh? Sea view. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be big, big value, but maybe 50 to 100 on the model. I don't know. That's my guess. Huh. 50 to 100, my guess. Okay, we probably should go through this, but it's kind of nice using that as a little table. Okay. Ooh, this is cool. Uh, Saturn V with Apollo. This is one of those handmade spacecrafts. I'm almost positive we found the other one. That was a really, really cool find. All right, also I wanted to mention that I brought the paintbrush down from the other unit. And uh, yeah, this helps because these are very dusty and that gently gets all the dust off, most of the dust off. Okay, ooh, yeah. Same type of ba base and made in the Philippines. Oh, oh wow, look at this. Oh man, that's so cool. That is, wow. <laughs> what is it about this stuff? It's just so cool. It's got the cool factor, right? 
This is uh, this is probably too, uh, surprisingly it's handmade and uh, like not super duper like realistic. It is pretty realistic, but not like some of the stuff that we find. Probably two to three hundred bucks right here. That's my guess. I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see some comps and uh, know the price of recently sold. Yeah, I switched my gloves out because wait, did we already look at this? Oh, we already looked at this one. <laughs> yeah, we did. It was just dusty. Okay. Okay, this one, those are just some empty boxes right there. Okay, next up. Oh, a crane. Nice flat top crane. Lieber. Oh, no. Okay, it doesn't look like the rat's chewed through to the item. That's definitely going to devalue it. And it also grossifies it up a little bit, if that's a proper term. <laughs> I think you guys know what I mean. Dirty. So this one's going to get a little disinfectant, not a little bit, but an, an, an ample amount of disinfectant, meaning a wipe down with some bleach wipes uh, before we sell it. And this one, Lever 110 ECB6. Hopefully I can find a comp on that. I mean, if it's a $20, $30 item, I won't clean it up. I'll just bring it to the flea market, see if somebody wants to buy it like that, and let them do the work on it. But, uh, oh gosh, look at this. You know why? Because look at that. Minute made. That's what the rats got in here for. The other unit had no food. This one has food, I think. So here's uh, some models right here. Pretty cool. A little chewed up. And by a little chewed up, I mean a lot chewed up. Ah, oh, bummer. There's a Gemini Jets UPS. Uh, that's really a bummer. Because this is uh, this is probably 50, 75 bucks right here, minimum. Dang it. That was nice, too. Now, the plane itself is mint. So we can always take it out and sell the plane on its own all right i got a box for chewed up stuff it'll probably just go to the market i think i don't know it's heck of gross though that was empty but the rats made a nest out of it oh i just realized look at this this is actually a, a scooper right here he tried to clean that up oh man what about here? this guy i think he just fell over because it looks clean on the inside oh man look how cool that is a gun like a military thing 46385 okay but i think they added that gun on it because it doesn't have it there that is a neat piece <laughs> okay that is nasty right there that is pure nastiness yucca mm, okay this is a little different isn't it Ooh, what's this maybe a game or something you hear that Oh, 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 what's that called? I forget, the kids play it, our kids play it. One of these is getting destroyed over here. It's all fragmented, uh, I forget the name of that. It's a pretty nice one right there. Oh, look at this. Nintendo DS, the old one, it's got a cracked screen right here. Model NTR-001 on that, that is cool. That's definitely an older DS. Uh, neat little find. What's this? Oh, this is another one. <laughs> Game Boy Advance SP. This is fun. AGS-001. This guy is such a cool guy. He like the fun toys. I love it. Creative little, uh, just a little speaker system. Travel sound, it says. Not really, like, up to uh, today's standards, you know. Hmm. Oh, okay, look at that. Wait, what is this? I was thinking it's for those big figurines, but it might be something different. I'm seeing some little Star Wars guys in here. This is, could be Star Wars. That's lightsabers. I think we've got any vintage stuff. This looks like it could be a vintage piece right here. That little missile. Not that. Huh. Sometimes these little guns and stuff from the Star Wars are worth more than the figurines. But uh, it doesn't look appear to be super old to me. These little things there. This could be the huh. interesting. Okay, that's neat. I like that. I'll take Lansing in motion portable audio. Look at the old iPod right there. Oh yeah, I think we found an old iPod in the first unit very early on. It was like brand new too. Yeah, let's just see all the parts to go with it. Right? No? This is something different. This is Bose. Triport. Huh, it's a little Bose headset. Okay, that's, that's different. 
In different meaning, it's not this, right? There's a iPod CD slash print. Print copy of the iPod instruction manual. I think that's what that means. Okay, what else we got? It's a fun little box right here. Empty. Okay, flea market. And Bay Burke. Oh, a couple playing cards. Nice. Hey, that's really nice. Bidding sheet. What is that for you guys? What game is that? Hmm. That's pretty sweet. That'll go into our live auctions. This one, Lingo. Make sure it's not leaving any dinero in the Lingo. Nope. <laughs> and Pit. Frenzied card trading game. Airplane spotter playing cards. World War II. That's pretty cool. And there's some used cards. Looks like this is like his games, you know? Little game box. More playing cards here. Walking company, huh? And Supercuts Racing. Wow, okay. <laughs> and a card shuffler. Automatic. Does it work? I don't know. I don't know. I'll put it aside. Here's a... Uh, this is cool. This Logitech. It's I forget what it's called. It's, it's like a trackball. But it's more like a wrist saver uh, trackball. Set up like a mouse. I don't know if there's any collectability on that. But I'm going to put it aside. It's, was that a serial port, I think? When I say set it aside, it means, uh, oh, that's a nice little chest set. I, I'm not going to put it into the flea market bin. Okay, lower end stuff goes to the flea market. A higher end stuff goes into our live auctions or on eBay, basically. Official guide for advanced wars, dual strike. I'm going to have to put this aside. Just to look it up. I'm not going to do it right now. There's the chess board, Pressman. It's a Nintendo DS instruction book. This guy is so meticulous about keeping stuff. I love it. All right, there is Sony headset, okay? Boy, that looks fancy too. Noise canceling headphones, MDR-NC11. Hmm. Darts, stylus. Look at these dice, that looks like a Dungeon Dragons dice right there. Was that 20-sided dice? Nintendo, a little wrist strap. Brand new. Just a little glass marble, that's cool. Lots of odd little knickknacks in here. Damage X1 TI84 Plus. That's a calculator. Keep those, I guess. I don't know. Xbox 360 instruction book. Pixma. That's the photo printer. Huh. I wonder if that's it right there. Bose Wave. Uh, did we find that already? Did we sell that? I can't remember at this point. There's an instruction book for those controllers. I don't know if those are the ones we found already or not. There's the Wave Radio instruction book. My goodness. There's some rubber balls. Alright, let's check this little box right here. We find some goodies in the little boxes sometimes. Alright, what do we got here? Art Master. It's in German. It's a little cart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> got four of them. Jeez, okay, we haven't found those yet. Brand new those were. $21 each. Man. And it was from 2008. So, not super big value, but 21 bucks each. Who knows what they're worth today. This little scooper is going to come in handy with all of those uh, uh, styrofoams right there. <laughs> it's got a really big, deep basket. Okay, let's see what's in here. We pulled those um, Overland trains out of here. Those are big money. When I looked them up when I got home, and you guys probably saw it in the last video. If you didn't watch the last video, check it out, because already we're in this thing. We're finding great stuff. Like, as good a stuff as I could hope for. Really high-end brass trains. Okay, Walther's Union Pacific 932-9590. Let's look that up. I think that's probably 7500 bucks. Okay, I was wondering what these were, and they were $11 brand new. It's an interior lighting kit for the Superliner cars. That's, that is neat. These, some of this stuff is not uh, produced anymore, so... It doesn't mean it's like super high value because how much people are going to pay for a lighting kit, but it does mean that they sell very quickly because people sometimes have been looking for them for a very long time. You put them on up for sale and they get snatched up really fast, and I love that. Naval Aviation, Naval Academy, nice license plate holder, frame, frame, a little catalog, Horchow, some bubble wrap, a sealed bag, brand new. That's that's a keeper. That's a keeper, guys. I'm going to be excited about that. It saved me a little bit of money. <laughs> Nothing significant. 
and some computer games. Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. Yeah. What's this? Something sweeper. Can't imagine this has got much value. I'm gonna put it in the flea market bin. You guys can all yell at me about what? That's worth it. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I let some stuff go at the flea market sometimes I shouldn't, but for the most part, yeah, I make pretty good judgment calls usually. Just wanted to see what was in here, just in case. The fact that it's taped up like that is a little different. Okay, a little scrubby brush. Auto Pro wheel detailing brush. Whoa, that's pretty nice. What's this? Auto Pro drawing cloth. Okay, that's nice for the flea market. Okay, this one's got some weight. And you can see the rats have been all around there. And this one's very dirty. Oh man, this is gonna be good. I, I know this is gonna be good right already. Oh geez, this is so heavy. Ace Train Athern 26305. Please look that up and let's get some good values on that. Come on. That is the same one. No, 306. What the heck? They look the same? They are not. They're both heavy. This one's heavy. 307. Oh, that's a set. Oh, wow. These are all really heavy, guys. These are all locomotives. That's the Ace Train. 305. Another one. 308. Something different. 306. Another one of those. I'm bringing these home the list right away. Those, who I, I think those can be some really decent values here. I want to get those home and get them listed. This Amtrak stuff, Ace Train. I think Amtrak's maybe better than Ace Train, but both of them really really good sellers 99338 and 99337 okay hmm. Amtrak's good good this box is dirty so I'm gonna let that go yeah once again I, I think we're gonna get more I think that was one of the pieces that maybe has gone up in value uh, but I'll put it on the screen for you guys like I always say I'll put it on the screen so you can tell before I do and that'll be a recently sold comp sometimes I show the comps and I list it for even higher Sometimes I show the comps and I list it for a little lower, but usually it's pretty close. It's not lower very often. Okay, you know what? This one is sealed, and this is great. This is another Code 3. This Code 3 stuff sells super fast. Fire Department City of New York. Uh, 12994. There we go. There's the number. I'm not going to open this. I'm going to sell it just like this, but I'll show you guys what it looks like. I think it's a fire truck. It's going in the van. All right, there's my van. I just really do love my van. Oh, I got something exciting to tell you guys. Okay, so yesterday, I was actually supposed to be here yesterday, and uh, the plans changed because I found a trailer. So if you remember, if you saw the video, I bought a, a really nice truck just recently. It's a big truck, big, maybe too big. Uh, it was definitely bigger than I ever envisioned myself driving. It's a 2500 GMC, and I bought the truck, big truck, for one reason, and that was to pull a big trailer. Uh, that was the next step in my upgrading my equipment or whatever so i got it yesterday so let me take a break from this real quick and just show you uh what that trailer looks like all right all right what's up locker nuts you see that right there trailers plus so that's where we are today oh man i'm so excited so i got this truck recently big old truck and the whole point of getting it was to eventually get a big old trailer that's what we're doing i've been searching for weeks and weeks and weeks i've uh just didn't have something that fit my criteria there's a couple things that are on the must have and a couple things that are on the hope to have this one checks most of the boxes and it at least checks all the boxes of the must have but it's even a little bit bigger than i first planned on so uh, i'm just about to go hook it up and i've uh, been here for a couple hours here looking at the different options and they've been installing some uh, track in there and so getting it ready for me i'm excited this is gonna be a game changer <laughs> wow oh all right just got home what do you guys think it's awesome yeah it's pretty yeah you like it okay let's show them oh look at this okay i got the wide angle makes it look even bigger but it is heck of big eight and a half by 16 brand new and uh ready for business You ready to see the inside? Sure. Okay, here is the inside. Yeah, it is like a small apartment in here. <laughs> Grace is checking out the side door. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. It's, you could live in here. We could bring it camping and seriously, like, 
It's like a hotel room. Oh, I could. Thanks for offering. Yeah, there's enough space. <laughs> if I'm naughty, I get to live in you here. You can make an office. <laughs> it's true. We could. I mean, really, we could make some flip down tables and have like a processing station right here. Yeah, but more importantly, I mean, I don't even know how I'll even fill all this with stuff. Like, it, 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 it better. Yeah. Well, I think it, like a ten by fifteen unit will fit in here. Eight, so how many of eight by sixteen units? Like that we have, how many could you fit in here? This is eight by sixteen. This is one hundred and twenty-eight square feet, floor space. Okay. So that's like almost two five by fifteens. Pretty awesome, right? That's pretty awesome. It is. Uh, it's huge. So right now, I brought it down and I rented a space basically at a storage facility to uh, to store it because um, I can't can't keep that from my house. Obviously, my little flatbed trailer I can't even keep in front of the house because uh, of our homeowners association. But anyways, um, now I've got to find a cheaper spot because that one's cost me one hundred and eighty five dollars a month to store it. Guys, around here, this part of the country is so expensive this is very close to silicon valley so that was really the main reason why i held off on getting that large trailer because i knew i was gonna have to pay for a spot which means it's gonna be a recurring expense for me the trailer it's not the cost of the trailer and registration is like 25 dollars for five years that's almost nothing it's the cost of renting the space that's a significant cost but uh, all the cheaper places around here uh, around my area are uh, all rented out and this going into summer right now it's like end of april almost May getting into summer people are like they store their RVs and boats at like in out you know out of ways in at cheaper facilities but right now because getting into tr travel time they're pulling them out of storage bringing them locally renting a space which they'll have for like three or four months uh, so that they can access it and prepare it for their trips so this is what was explained to me why the uh, spots are in shortage right now so Bad time, uh, but 185 a month. Eventually, I will change it, and it looks like I'll be eventually paying about 130 a month. Still a lot of money. Still a lot of money, but uh, 185 definitely stings. So just to give you an idea of what we deal with living right here in this area. It sucks. But what can I say? It does. It sucks, meaning it is very expensive. But uh, because we're in such a high wealth area. I mean, this kind of locker is not very common even for this area, but we do have some, uh, you know, there's money here. So there are some good lockers, but there's plenty of mm, junky lockers too, but I'm just saying it does have an upside. Okay, Aviation Archive, we found one of these planes before. It's a beautiful piece. We sold it in our, our live auction. And uh, yeah, you guys heard me talk about that a couple times. If you're new to the channel, if this is your first video, we do a live auction on our YouTube. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know if you can see it. It's getting a little bit of a glare, but that's a Black Hawk helicopter. That looks pretty B.A., if you know what I mean. B.A. Uh, you can figure out what those initials stand for. That is cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's going over here. U.S. 35902. That might be the number. Okay. That's made by Corgi. Corgi's a good brand. Okay. Xbox and ew, ew, ew. It's gross. Right on top. Nasty. <laughs> like the poop lands on the box and the box absorbs the poop juice that is heck of gross i know some of you are like stop talking about gross stuff i keep it real guys if you can't handle the heat stay out of the kitchen or stay out of the storage locker in this business uh i should probably term something there. that's a good thing oh dang these are nice <laughs> i can see already these are out and, and that's nice all right looks like the poop was contained to the outside of the box thankfully Okay, we got some 2010 purchases here. What? 16 bucks? What the heck? How's it so cheap? What do we got here? That, that's 16 bucks, really? That looks way more expensive. 70021. Let's look that baby up and see if it's held its value. 700215. So we got, oh man, look at this. We got a ton of them. Okay, these are going in the front seat because that box is not coming in my beautiful van. No, sir. Okay, we've got a ton of these. All uh, uh, similar. Very similar. Okay, those are so easy to list. I don't even take them out of the box. I basically just... Guys, look at the size of that thing. It looks like a chihuahua poop. I don't take them out of the box. I list them just like that. Another really disgusting box. Oh, this one's been chewed open, too. The rats were in the inside. Ah oh, man. Ah, oh, that really sucks. Oh, these are more of those tanks. Dang. Oh, no, no, no. These were $54 each. $600 in tanks right here. Doggone it. Okay, what do I do, guys? 
I could take them out of the box. Obviously, the rat contamination is mostly on the outside of the box. I could take them out of the box and sell them loose. That's what I'm going to have to do. $55 each. That's 600 bucks right here. But what a disgusting job. Bring the flea market. It's going to be hard to sell. All right, let's just hope that like the other unit, this one, uh, there's very little stuff actually ruined by rats, okay? Oh, wait a second. Oh, guys, what's this? What? Oh, yes. <laughs> this is good. Okay, this is this is potentially really, really good right here. It looks just like those classic construction models, but I don't see that on here. But, it, oh, it is. Classic construction models. It's right there in small print. It was made like for caterpillar made for caterpillar and i think it's gonna be wrapped up and we can't see it so let's take a peek see mm, no, i'm not gonna do it oh wait what, what does it say serial number 73 one of 375 of these were made okay that is exceptional this is anywhere from 500 to a thousand and i'm thinking more towards the thousand that's my guess ah oh, my back seat's getting full right here okay <laughs> that's a good problem Let's see if there's anything else in here. Yes, there is. Oh, 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 yeah. Now another one. Oh my goodness. This is number 64 out of 357. <laughs> I don't even have time to list all this stuff. I don't, but I got it. I got to try. Right now I'm selling about $30,000 a month on eBay. That's almost $1,000 per day on eBay. I've never done that in my entire life. We've usually averaged about $3,000 a month. So we've obviously, uh, we're hitting way better levels with this locker. Okay, we've got this area now. Um, I, I wanna see what's in this bin. Now, of course, we can assume what's in here based on what we found in the other locker, right? But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Look at all these over here, all those up there. There's lots of bins in here. Um, and who, you know, I'm sure there's a bunch over there too. But let's get, so let's see, guys. Let's go. This will be the first bin that we open in this in this locker. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? What is this? What is this? Oh, tanks! What the heck? Look at them all. There's so many. Okay, no rats got in here. You see the lid it was on snug, and there's no holes. Nothing even rolled inside or dripped inside or. <laughs> I've not seen this before. So when I say what the heck, I'm saying I've never seen this 4M4. I've not seen that brand yet. This is something entirely new for this uh, locker. And this is a train, but it's got a tank that goes on top of it. Art number 48711. What the heck? Look at all these pieces in here. Oh, that lid is so gro gross. Mm, yeah, I don't want that stuff to get in here with this stuff. Bad, good, bad good <laughs> okay oh i almost okay oh there's invoices hang on okay this is um they're only 17 dollars each 17 and 19 dollars each surprisingly oh there's a couple that were 50 dollars each but even 17 dollars a piece times this many there's there's hundreds in here wait there's another invoice let me see what else Okay, wait a second. Now there's a $45, $53, and a $400 powered maintenance cart, says $45. Whoa. Okay, wait. These are all over the place. Soldiers and riflemen are $17, $20 each. But then there's $50 and $200 pieces, $300 piece. Okay, 48711, which is the one we were just looking at, that's a $50 piece. It says there's only one. But I see a bunch of them here. So this is just one invoice uh, for some of the items. I don't think this is all the items. That's a $53 piece right there. Brand new. Okay, so yes. This is... Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Good stuff right here. Okay. That lid's not coming home though. That was nasty. But the rest of this, I think this is going to go in my van right here. Just like that because... I don't want to take all those out loose. I'm going to bring this home and get them listed. That's going to be a, quite a few hours to get that listed. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see what's in number two. Okay. Ooh, these are big. Look at this. 
Oh wow, Ather and Automax, these are, what scale is this? $80 brand new, G4410, I think it's G scale. I think that's why it starts with G. Well, G, G's, <laughs> G's, all them G's right there. Oh, this is Atlas G scale, this is cool. Um, usually we're finding mostly HO scale and then a fair amount of N scale. Very, very little Z scale. This is HO right here. Okay. I might be wrong on the others too then. They seem, no, they seem bigger. This is good stuff too. This is good stuff too. I'm not as excited as I am about the tanks and stuff. Um, but this is good. This is definitely needs to get listed. Okay. Now we got a nice, a nice hole we dug out there. I feel good about that. We're making some progress. Let's get to this next. I see it says books, storage. Mm, okay, and it does look like books. So obviously, we're not as excited about books as we are about trains, but yeah, it is what it is. There's some Star Wars books. What are these? Big letters. I think these are like for kids or y the youth, you know, like youth books. There's, this is kind of neat. Fighter combat. Knife of Dreams. Book 11 of the Wheel of Time, huh? Star Wars, The Rise of Darth Vader, that's cool. Okay, Star Wars books, that's good. I don't know if it's good enough to sell in our live auction though, the, these books, I'm not sure. Um, I might take my time with that, not knowing for sure what I'm gonna do. I don't really want, break to the flea market, we're gonna be letting it go for almost nothing, you know? Uh, let's just see, I don't see anything like jumping out at me, it's crazy, interesting. It's all good stuff, science fiction's good. Let me take my time with this one. This is the kind of thing I'll put in the other locker and let it sit for a little bit. Here, you got a little cart. I'm going to roll it right down there. <laughs> Along with that thing, too. So, um, yeah, I may be, I mentioned the live auctions, guys. I don't think I filled you in on that. I think I got distracted. It happens a lot. Oh, yucca. Yucca. Yeah, the little buggers chew the corners out and get inside. Why? Why? What do you want? What's in here for you? Rat? Nothing. Yeah, that's turded up right there. Unfortunately, here's a Mark one. Oh, 39192. Turded up, chewed up. Yeah. Again, we'll probably take those out of the box and sell them as loose pieces because they're still mint in the box. If the rats chewed through and damaged the actual train, then it's a loss for me. I don't I don't want to deal with that. I don't deal in I don't sell contaminated stuff. Which uh, reminds me this might be a good time to take a little sweet break get get my work area a little cleaned up so what i was saying is that we do our live auctions on youtube only on youtube not on facebook and you can join us every monday night for an auction we do them weekly and that's when we sell some of the best stuff we pull out of here we're going to be selling a lot of it on ebay and a lot of it on our live auctions not so far what i see not much of this is going to the flea market just a little bit the more regular low-end stuff but I do not sell uh, collectibles at the flea market. You know, this little sweeper box is cool. That's a good find. I'm, I might keep that. That's a keeper. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so uh, it's funny because I go to the... Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm mid-sentence -talk, mid talking and look what I uncover. Booyah. This is really good. This is more of those little planes. Oh, man. I'm so happy to find more of these. These I've said before. I've said before. These are, um, oh, I forgot I pulled that out and didn't get to it. This is good too. These little Herpa airport sets, little people for the airports. But these little micro planes are like 1400 scale, I think, or 1200 scale. There's a US Navy Boeing Swordsman Super Hornet. I think we found this one before. $27 or 27 euros, brand new. But these are, these are examples of the type of stuff that's appreciated greatly, greatly in value here's another one of those Golivers. we found those last time in a different box sundown i think that might be the same one we found last time pretty good not as good as i first remembered but down there i see right here an in flight this big box that's an in flight probably 200 bucks uh those in flights are super good this right here i think is 75 dragon uh let's see i don't know 40 or 50 bucks and the price he paid doesn't even matter because like I said, these have appreciated. This kind of stuff has appreciated. The collector market, I think, is, is blowing up on this stuff. So, oh gosh, this is so good. So good. Okay. Okay, what do we got here? Oh gosh, guys. <gasps> do you see what I'm seeing? Do you realize what this is right here? 
Oh, take it in. Take it in. I'm trying to take it in. This is fantastic. Every one of these green boxes here, 300 to 1,000. And I know that's kind of a big range, but oh man, this is maybe even 12 or 1,300. Quite honestly, this is one of those trucks. Classic Mint. This is number 82 of only 110 made. This one, number 43 of only 120 made. This one, five, number five of 200 made. Oh my goodness, there's so many in here. This is number 14043. Look that up and let's get a value on the screen. This one, number 14049. Only 50 of these made. Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to show each of these. Number 14049, same one. Just this number 23, that's number 33. Excelente. This one, Zycon models. Wait, we found some Zycon model stuff. Oh wow, okay. Oh, Lone Star, this is uh this is five or six hundred bucks right here. We've auctioned these off before. Customized replica from Zycon models. That's weird though. I don't know why it says that. Number 189 of 200 though. There's another flat bed. I think that's three, four hundred bucks right there. Oh, this is good. There's another semi. 14015. Number eleven of only 35 made. 35 oh these are going home with me these these are too good oh there's a more more tractor we've been selling this stuff off in our live auction lots of tractors got some more jcb that's different oh this is motor art we found motor art just not jcb yet one three one three eight on that got two oh this is a different one it's another jcb one three one three six so on these that was one four zero one three i swear we've had that exact same number i might be wrong but 14012 it's black and that's red that's I, i'm pretty sure i've had both those before and i think they're both gone uh they sell so fast 14007 and i'm not giving them away either uh oh this is good oh yes classic construction models another one of these cat 854 g and i'll tell you what i think that is a g right there that's a thousand bucks oh yeah that's going in the car that's got to get listed soon Okay, this right here, uh, brand new sealed. Look at this, sealed. And it's a Pioneer HTS GS1. It's a surround system, but specifically for the Xbox 360. It says, maximize your gaming surround sound experience. Since there's a 360 in the photo there. Um, I wonder if it's got a 360 in there, but just the fact that it ties into the game system, I think this is going to have some value, especially since it's sealed brand new. That's another great find, I think. Uh, okay, I'm not going to move this right now. Because I don't know the value. So if there's a value on that, I'm going to list it. If there's not a value on that, I'll bring it to the market. I'm not going to move it right now. It's just too big. Uh, it's, and I got a place for it. I even swept it out. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, obviously, we've got some cobwebs back here because this thing is dangling in the air. So hopefully, we don't have any black widows. Oh, look above me. Nope. All right. This light. Dell. It's this computer made in Malaysia. And it is light. So... The computer no asta aquí. Just packing materials. Okay, this right here though. Mm, it's a little dirty on top. Yeah, not not real pretty. It's got some staining on here. I think the rats were walking around on it. Getting their funk on it. But this is that 4M4. And dang, that's cool. It's like Red Cross trains. Uh, medic trains right so i'm gonna put that in the car because we have all that other 4m4 stuff put that right up there i need to get that cleaned up proper though uh nothing little bleach whites can't fix <laughs> but uh yeah on the invoice some of that stuff was a few hundred bucks so hopefully that was one of the higher priced ones i have a feeling it definitely had potential let's look in this box but before we do what look at this oh ooh, this heavy this oh wow look at this bike I'm jumping ahead and jumping ahead because I really want to see this. Look at this Lamond Revmaster. Re Lamond Revmaster. Ooh, look at this. It's got a little display, cup holder. It looks very high end. Very, very high end. All this like chrome piece. Yeah, heavy metal. It's not a cheap made in China piece. This looks like a, a very quality piece. So that's very interesting. Very interesting. But let's get in this because. All right. I mean, this is very interesting too. Look at this, more 4M4. Amazing, we're finding so much of that stuff already, and in the last locker, we found zero. I've never even seen it before. 
There's, oh, there's another Gemini Jets UPS. It's got a little nibble on it, though. Mmm, that's nice. GJUPS380E. Let's get a valuation on that um, for, this, for, the, for you guys. Okay, let's get that. Okay. The rats got in here, too, because they did nibble on that. Track bumpers. 933-3511. Look at all this stuff. It's just really... Oh, there's more cars. Nice. Chrysler Airflow. Looks just like, oh, this made by Atlas, but it looks just like the Rico ones, like exactly like the Rico ones. So this is all good stuff right here. Rubber cups. Wait, that's just for like under furniture. That's not necessarily train stuff. A few more of these little cars here. Loving it, loving it. There's a Beetle. Volkswagen Red. Yeah, just a bunch of little tiny stuff. Oh, look at this. Concrete K-Rail barriers. Little miniature replica. And there's some more Woodland Scenics. We love that stuff. We're finding quite a bit. And look at that, Atherin, another, that's a Ford Model A. I'm not sure if that one's going to be like the uh, dump trucks and such. The dump trucks have been selling like fire, though. More than 4M4. Uh, that's neat. Hopefully that's coming through on the camera. Problem with wearing gloves, guys, I don't know, I get so many critical comments. It's surprising how many people just can't uh, keep the criticism to yourselves. But I get so many critical comments about, like, why aren't you wearing gloves? Why aren't you? When I'm wearing gloves, even these little uh, thin ones like this, I can't use my camera. So the camera screen shuts off every so many minutes. I have to keep clicking the button to turn it back on, but it doesn't respond to the gloves. All right, so um, that is a problem because I want to make sure my frame is always set and all that. Uh, but right now I'm, I'm wearing the gloves just because I'm around so much of the rat stuff. But when I get into like safer areas, I'm not going to be wearing gloves. That's a nice little shower head right here. Brushed nickel. Upgrade, perhaps? <laughs> we got three showers. Surely one of them might need a new uh, new head on them. There's a Herpa plane right there. Yeesh. Gross. It's another Capri Sun. That's what it is. We got in and drank all the sugary liquid out of it. Another Herpa. That's like a chrome plane right there. What number is this? That's a Cessna N7904G. It's, it's interesting. Oh, okay, check this out. There's more. Oh, there's more of the Cadillac Escalades. These, I last time in the video, I said these were 50, uh, 60 bucks each. Look at it. He paid $13.99, but they're actually selling for 55 bucks each. I love my $5, but still, I've sold almost every single one we listed. And uh, there's Ford Mustang GT. That's very good finds. For some reason, the Escalades are like worth so much more than any of the other ones that I've found. You know, the Ford Mustang convertible, and there's a Crossfire. More of these old cars. I'm gonna bring those home and we're gonna have to decontaminate those, give them a good wipe down. Just to be safe. This stuff's cool. Motoring 2000. There's more of these. We found, oh, we didn't find no F Series truck, but we found these Ford miniatures. Okay, on the bottom in there, there's an Atlas locomotive. It says 95 bucks brand new. Item number 10 0 s 2 locomotive. That could be a decent value right there. That's at least 75 bucks right there. Okay, what else we got? Okay, empty box for software. Not impressed. And a back support. <laughs> and that's the thing I get a lot of comments about. You need a good back support. No, oh, I don't need to get a back support. My back is perfectly strong and healthy and fine. All right. That can go to the flea market. That'll be a nice little sale. <laughs> It's funny, I get so many comments. Oh, 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 look at this, guys. Yes, another Game Boy Advance SP. That is a beautiful condition. It, it actually looks almost new. It's very little wear on it. What else we got in here? Sony for the PSP right here, charger. There's a little something or other. What is this? Mad Cats, it says. Mad, wait, what the heck? Wait, there's a couple of them. Oh, you know what these are? These are little... Protectors for the games. There's games in there. All right, let's do that over here. Let's do that over here. Let's see what's in here. Okay. Okay. Cords and stuff. Yeah, that's for one the game. One of the Game Boys. It's a charger. Yeah, for that I think. Nice. Yep. Lots of cables and that one's empty. The Hobbit. Okay. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. The Two Towers. All right. Okay, that's some good stuff. I like the chargers too, because now I can test those uh, games. The Game Boys. Wait, 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 I missed this. 
There's something in here. Oh, you know it. Battle bots. Nice. Oh. Advanced Wars Dual Strike. Oh. Oh, there's another battery. Okay. Go Max. Another battery. Good. Yes. Look at this. Narnia. Yes. I don't know if these are good games or not, but they're games. Metroid Prime Hunters. First Hunt. Nintendo DS. Oh, that was nice. I didn't completely miss that. And I had... That had some value right there. Good. So that kind of stuff would go in our live auction. Yeah, that would. All right, these books right here, not as impressed with. I'm not, just being honest with you. Uh, good books. I see some good books. Michael Crichton's always a good read. John Grisham, come on. Runaway Jewelry, Rainmaker. This is good stuff. Yeah, but I think this can go to the flea market. This is, there's nothing like amazing in here. Okay, now it's in this one. Okay, DVD writer, computer parts, yeah, DVD writer, I don't know why he, why he needed so many, and Kodak picture frame, yep, yeah, that's what it is, <laughs> jeez, that thing is huge, I think they make them much smaller now, okay, that's all flea market right there, okay, this uh, computer right here, eh. Not super new, not latest and greatest, but I tell you what, I'm not going to sell those computers right away. I'm going to put those aside because I just feel like being this guy's accomplishments and being the, being said he was in work for Apple in the late 80s. We heard he was an early investor in Tesla. To me, it just seems like he's the type of guy that might have been into crypto. I don't know. I have nothing to, to go off that. You know, just my assumption is that this guy could have been into crypto. If so, I want to take a closer look at the computers that were coming out. All right, this gift bag right here. Yeah, it's just empty. Bailey, Banks, and Biddle. Do you guys know? Oh, look at that cockroach right there. Half a cockroach. <laughs> that, the rats were eating them, maybe. Uh, is that a good store? I, I Probably with this guy, but I'm just curious if you heard of it before. Because I had not. Look at this. Big Four Hobbies. Uh, this box has never been opened. This is fun. I get to open it for the first time. And I didn't even have to buy it. Well, I guess I did buy it, but you know what I mean. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, there's a Dodge Charger police car. That's something different, but this isn't this an Escalade. This is another Escalade, guys. And that one's mint. All right. There's another Escalade. This is $55 each. I don't know about the police car. Okay, uh, he's got 20 of this one, which is the police car. 20 of those police cars. Only two of the Escalades. And then one of something else. So the Escalades alone are 55. I gotta look up the police car. Um, yeah. Good little box right here. Okay, what's down here? Cycling aero pad, okay. <laughs> something to go with the, the bike. Okay, there's the LeMond Revmaster. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's just a DVD, a workout DVD to go with the bike. It's got all the original stuff with it. I don't I don't even know if he's used this bike. Okay, look at this. Bungee cords galore. Those are some nice cords too. 48 inch bungee cords. It's pretty decent. Okay, I'm going to put those in the flea market box, but... I just know I'm not going to get very much at the flea market. It's brand new cords. All right, let's see what's in here. We've been, we've been using this as a nice little table, but I think it's time. It's time to uh, get to the bottom of it. Okay, and it's the bottom of it. It's not really that far off because there's not only a couple things in here. This is interesting. Look at this. Linksys. That's shrink wrap. Brand new. Cable DSL router. Oh, wow. Okay, model number BEFSR41. That could be something... Not much, but it could be a little something. And that looks like just another router or something. Pro oh, progressive scan DVD player. Okay, not a big deal. I'm going to use this as another flea market box. Okay, we'll start that up. Yeah, oh, look at this. Wow. The rats were getting their drink on. Okay, let's see what's in here. Mmm, this is good. This is good already. I see tons of Xbox stuff. You know what? This, I think, matches the green Xbox that we found in the first locker. And I haven't sold that yet. I'll hold on to it. Uh, wow, that's a nice cord. Cyclone competition grade cord. Wow. S-Video and Analog AV. 
Dynex. This is brand new stuff. I, I'll probably list it. There's a PlayStation uh, remote right here. Controller. There's another Xbox controller. That looks like an original Xbox, but it's wireless. So, I don't think it's 360, but maybe it is. Maybe it is. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, there's a brand new Xbox 360 controller. Sealed. Nice. Quite a few controllers in here. There's a Logitech for the PlayStation. Look at this one. Nyko. I type 2. I type 2. This is for PlayStation. That's interesting. Look at this one. I don't know what this is. That's for a PlayStation. Lots of cords. And here's another Logitech one for the PlayStation. Another high end cord right there. PlayStation 2 USB adapter. This is some pretty interesting stuff right here. Uh, anytime we find video game stuff, it's potential. Okay, and then right here, let's see what's in the toolbox. Okay, hmm. Liquid pigment, earth color. Earth colored pigment. Concrete, oh, concrete, okay. It's for coloring your concrete. That is a thing. It is, I know. Okay, Woodland Scenics. This is like the little, okay, right there, foliage. Light green. This is all stuff for building your little train sets. Earth blend, blended turf. Huh, this is, uh, I thought this was concrete uh, stain. For, oh, specially formulated for terrain models. Plaster, plaster cl cloth. So this is all, yeah, it's still, it's still wet in there. So this, those are still good, I think. It's all for building your little models. Your, your sets, your model sets. Look at this black shadow. Powdered black tempura paint. It's powdered paint tempura. And that's what it feels like in the powder. Okay, that was not what I was expecting with the toolbox. Nope, not what, I, not what I was expecting at all. Oh, more. A whole bunch more of this stuff. My goodness. Look at this ballast. Talus. Rock debris. Pretty good. I, I I don't know price on this stuff, but it's this has got to add up to some some money right here. That's that's what I would think. Oh, there's plaster cloth. Nice. Okay, next up, let's work on this right here. Uh oh, <laughs> this is good right here. Kato. There's an N scale Kato set. I think this is probably 150 to 200 bucks. It's 10 to 510. I don't think it's less than 150 bucks. It's 140 brand new. Yeah, right on top. Dang. Oh, this is Kato too. Ooh, 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 yes. This is another 150 to 200 right here, I, I think. Where's the... Okay, put is, it was put in backwards. Let's take a look at it. 221 series electric car, 10-435. Yeah. Nice. Four pieces on that set there. This is probably 100 bucks, maybe a little bit more. Not less. It's not just the price on these Kato's too, it's the speed that they sell and they're really, really popular. That's going home. That'll get listed. I mean, everything is listed. Everything either gets listed or sold in a live auction, but when I say it's gonna get listed, I mean it's gonna get listed soon. Cause I've been selling this stuff like hotcakes, the Kato 10-436 right here. What is this? Oh, brand new box or something. Okay, wait, that's taped shut. Should I open it? Item number 11-3000102-09, HO cylindrical hopper car. Hmm, I don't know, it says 2017, I don't think that's right. I don't think anything in here was that new. I think that might just be a model number, coincidentally, it could be a date, but uh, maybe it's a date. Here's another one, oh my goodness. Brand new, huge case of them. Quantity, six pieces. Okay, six pieces, I wanna see what, what it is, let's see. Also, it does look like it was retaped at some point. It had the brown tape and then it has clear plastic tape. So it was retaped at some point. Oh, whoa, look at that. Saskatchewan, North American Rail Car Corporation. Okay, there's the number right there. Huh. Yeah, nope. Wait, what? It's a different number than on the box. Well, anyways, uh, there's six of them in there. And I've said this before too. Uh, what makes that nice is that it's an easy list. Photograph one, list it, quantity six. And then uh, these are different numbers, but they're probably gonna be pretty similar, but they are different. 
Still, that's two listings, 12 items. We got one more box here. Looks like it was smushed, so they put it in this cardboard to protect it. Oh, it's just like the other ones. It looks like it. Is that the same number? I think it might be. Sweet. Oh, okay. Here's some wrapped up stuff. This is different. So we found some champagne glasses in the last episode. I didn't really think much of it, but I'll tell you, I see one thing here in uh, Marquis by Waterford right here. That means that he did have some nicer breakables, you know? So I do want to be a little careful with this stuff. What is this? Ooh. Lennox Heritage Collection. That is really beautiful. Really beautiful. I don't know if that's got value or not. So I'll put it in the car. Okay, let's see what these are. Ooh, okay, this is uh, beautiful. This is hand balloon glass right here. Oh man, it's stinking gorgeous. Do you see that? Hand balloon glass. We've had these before, similar stuff. Um, not identical, obviously, because these are all gonna be unique. We had something similar to these. Um, those are glass stir sticks. I think this is meant to be more like a flower arrangement. Man, guys, this is actually looking to be kind of a decent box. Definitely very interesting. So we got all these. I'm not gonna open them all right now because it probably makes a beautiful bouquet probably to go in one of these nice vases. I think I'm gonna have to put all this stuff in the car and open it at home. Um, there's another beautiful Linux piece right here. This kind of stuff I think we will be doing in our live auction. That's where we usually do that kind of stuff. If you want to see what this stuff is inside these wrappers, uh, come to our live auction. We'll definitely show it. Look at this little Linux. Gorgeous stuff. Oh, this has got the flowers on it. I wouldn't be surprised if those glass pieces went inside that. All right, right below it got this thing here. Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay, books. Hardy Boys, hmm. Wow, this is a huge box. Hardy Boys, looks like we got a huge set of them. Is this, does this have value? I don't, I don't know. There's a ton of them. Seriously, a ton of books. Hmm. More like boys, you know, like youth books, but maybe some decent stuff, I don't know. All right, I don't know what to do with this either. I'm not gonna bring it home. Very interesting, it's good stuff, science fiction and mystery and stuff it's they're good sellers i just don't know about value that might need to go to the market all right got a nice got a nice hole here and i'll tell you what guys i think i'm going to wrap this up in a minute first i want to see what's in this all right we're going to peek in this get cleaned up first ah bummer it's empty i wonder if that piece is wrapped up in the other stuff oh that looks pretty though so we're gonna have to definitely hold on to this box so if we find the other piece I'm gonna put it right up here. Uh, that was kind of a <laughs> anticlimactic. Maybe we'll go a little bit more, okay? There's a Revel model, but it is opened. Or no, it's not. I thought that was the side of it, but it's actually just peeling open. So that's not opened. 05239, let's look that up and see if there's any value in that. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, uh, Marklin, always good. I haven't found too much Marklin in this unit yet. 39970. That's a nice little locomotive. It's heavy. Okay, well, you know what? We'll bring that home and get it listed as soon as possible. And then let's look at this Atherin. It's $130 brand new. And it is probably brand new. I mean, when he bought it, knew that's what it was. Most of these trains, he doesn't even, he never ran them. He didn't have track set up or anything. This one said 2007 on the box. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Really nice. Atherin. Atherin's a good seller, too. And good values. So, another one. I'll probably just put that in the car. Why not? We'll get that listed. Get it sold. I mean, it won't sell until it's listed, right? So, and you know what? I see U-Boot. U-Boot on there. A whole bunch of boxes, and they look like they're almost the same. Let's do one more box, okay, guys? I know you're not going to complain. Uh, you're going to be like, yeah, 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 more, more, more. But I'm getting tired. And, uh, yeah, I want to go home. And, I'm actually going to go home and get some of this listed right this very minute. I mean, uh, today, you know, basically. So, U-Boot, there's one, two, three, four, there's eight in here. Look at that. Got a whole bunch of little 
models here. They're like in a plastic bag. Komitsudo Moki. One one hundred and forty fourth. Okay, this is a set. One, two, three, four. I thought there was eight in here. This is a set. I don't know if this is a duplicate of that or what. If that's five, six, seven, eight, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to look it up, see if we can find the value. But here's a whole nother set right here. Huh. And then this. Oh, there's a bunch more right here. Five. Manica collection, it says right there. Oh, okay, just more of those. So there's eight pieces in each. A maniac collection. Maniac. What did I read? Oh, I read it upside down, so... <laughs> uh, so there's two full sets there, one through eight. And I think that was one through eight, one through eight. And maybe another set of one through eight right here. Two German U-boat cutaway, one, 144 scale models, $45 each. So if one through eight is 45 bucks, that's not a huge value. Not huge value. I'm not going to take that home right now. Um, but we will take it down to the other locker and stick it in there because eventually we'll list it. But maybe not today. We already got so much to list today. I got a lot to list and I got a lot for our live auctions too. Okay. This is, uh, we did get this deep last time and peeked in here. There's a PS2. Sweet. There's an Overland right there. Oh man, I kind of want to grab that Overland. Oh, look at this. He's got a, a big old mallet right here. That's awesome. I had trouble getting these shelves together at the end of the unit until I brought a mallet over. He's prepared. All right, you know what? I said I was going to end it. Let's do a little bit more. I want to get that Overland out of here because I want to get that home. What's this first of all? Okay, look at that. It's a little tugboat or something. Barge. Handmade, like a finished model. We'll paint it up. So that's okay. It's not that exciting. Okay. John Adams. Three disc set. Epic miniseries from HBO. Okay, so there's some DVDs. And I do see uh, there's DVDs right there. There's a bunch of DVDs up there. I think I saw some somewhere else too. Oh, I'm going to leave that here. We'll keep those together. This is what I wanted to get right here. Okay, let's dust that off. We found four already in this locker. Same type of blue, dark blue boxes. They're right here. And this one is... You ready? Drum roll. AA-1289-1. This is... Uh, my guess over a thousand bucks. All right, But again, you guys will know before me. You're probably like, Jack, look up. It's right there on the screen. Don't you see it? Don't you know? This one looks like it was unwrapped before and put back in. But again, I doubt it was ever run. Ever run, okay? All right. Well, I see, you know, look at, like, I see decorative lighting. I see some more speakers over there. Instant home design software. DVDs. Tripoli. Tri Triopoly. And then in here, like, I see that fan. And there's uh, this wood piece right here. Saw that last time. Oh, look at this right here. Table saw. Ooh, it's Makita. Oh, Makita table saw. That's cool. Model 2708. All right. It might not be in there, but if it is, I might keep that. Upgrade. <laughs> but my point is, uh, yeah, you can see some luggage, cooler bags and such. But we're getting into some more personal items here. The other one had some personal items, but not very much. It was mostly trains and, tr you know, hobbies. Hobby stuff, miniatures. But this one, I am definitely, we've got the patio furniture chairs, uh, pads up there. I see a pop, uh, quick shade pop up right there. And there's a, something that says tent up there. Uh, we're definitely seeing some personal stuff up there. I see Imperial, what does that say? Imperial Star something. It says fragile. Wait, what the heck? Let me get the phone out so we can zoom in on that. Oh, Star Destroyer. Imperial Star Destroyer. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. That'll be fun. Huh. I wonder, I'm wonder. i hoping that's vintage Star Wars stuff and not like a handmade model. But I'm sure even a handmade model will be worth some money. But the vintage Star Wars, is we have not found that in here yet. Uh, see that bin right there? I see some wood. Probably for building a set or something. We showed before up there is a Husqvarna box hopefully it's in there it, it may not be we found a husk barn in the other unit that might just be the box for it hopefully those are not just all empty boxes up there could be and i'm not going to complain either way this has been such a terrific uh set of units yeah back there are tons of totes huh i haven't seen this from this angle yet we're, we're in deeper we're in deeper like mc hammer says let's go deeper we gotta go deeper hey hey yeah, 
Oh, I see what he's using the bungee cords for. You see that? It's gotten loose, got too much slack on it, but he's using it to keep those uh, boxes on the shelves. I don't know. I'm not going to keep this unit, though. These uh, these units, be, uh, these shelves being so high is not really a good use for me. It's too hard to get up there. I'll probably take these um, apart and bring the, the uh, shelves over to my other unit and upgrade my unit there. Upgrade all of my shelving. That's what I plan to do. Because this is some nice shelving. I've been working with it, modifying the other unit and getting it a little bit more usable for bringing stuff over there. And uh, let's poke around a little bit. <laughs> I know what that is. Uh, we'll, we'll see that soon. I see a code three box right there. You see that? Yes. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I, I'll probably upgrade the shelving in my personal unit. Okay. So I'll bring this over to that unit and get rid of the miscellaneous various shelving units that I have accumulated and used over there and put this in there. This is some nice stuff. Let the dust and stuff get your nose running. <laughs> you can get my eyes a little bit today for some reason. Um, at the other unit down there, I brought my shop vac and plugged it in because the lights have extension cords hooked up to them. So I've been shop vacuuming that one, getting everything uh, cleaned up, tidied up, and it feels good. All right, guys, we made some real progress today. Uh, actually, I mean, the last two times we've been here, but today especially got this whole area almost cleaned out. We gotta see what's in those. Uh, they're not empty, they're, they're a little heavy. Gotta get the exercise bike out. But it's nice when I start emptying stuff out, these areas, getting them clear, because then I can start putting stuff back in and start getting organization. Like already over here, I put a little bit of list stuff, a little bit of flea market stuff. Over there, I'm putting a little bit better stuff. Uh, yeah, we're starting to get organized. And of course, I've been bringing stuff down to the other unit because I can start putting stuff on those shelves and wait till I start listing. I'm really, I, I'm going to be listing literally for all of this year and probably in the next year, maybe even into the year after that. I'm going to be listing for a very long time, but I've been trying to list the more expensive items sooner than later. And of course, when I have something that has like duplicates of six, I try to list those very quickly because they're easy. And uh, man, I've been selling a lot. Like I said earlier, 30,000 a month is about what we've been selling. I think the last month, maybe a little bit higher, like 35,000 or something, but uh, huge sales, huge sales. It really is happening. And that's just eBay sales. We're also selling uh, a few things, private party, and also a few things um, on our live auctions. Actually a lot more than a few things. We've sold a considerable amount. About 20% of what we've sold so far has been through our live auctions. The other 80% is mostly eBay and a little bit of private party. So anyways, uh, it's going really well, but there's so much more to sell. I don't even think I've sold half of what's in that other unit. I don't think we sold half. All right. No, I know we haven't sold half dollar wise. No volume wise, uh, maybe, but I have a lot of those overland trains. I have most of those still. So yeah, tens of thousands of dollars just in those brass trains. But anyways, guys, how fun is this? It's so much fun. I hope you're enjoying it. Last episode, I asked you, are you enjoying it? Comment below. And I saw the comments. I haven't responded to very many. Uh, but I've been seeing them, and I really appreciate it. And I am hearing you guys. You're having fun, and I, I love that. I do. We'll be back here uh, pretty soon, pretty soon. Uh, the trailer I'm really excited about, but the trailer obviously is not going to be a big factor in helping me here uh, because this stuff is this stuff moves slow. The trailer's going to be great for moving large quantities of stuff. i got nowhere to move this right now. So um, this stuff's got to get listed and sold, and that takes – it's a process. It takes a while. But the big trailer is going to be great for moving junk. Also, it's going to be great because we bought those six units. If you guys go in our live events, we talk a lot about updates, you know, current stuff. One of the big things we've got going on right now, too, in addition to, to revealing the second locker, <laughs> so much going on. We bought an estate buyout about an hour and a half to two hours away from here. And uh, it consisted of six lockers, six lockers. And I maybe made some mentions. We got some exciting stuff that we're working on in the past. Well, I was working on that for six months. Finally, finally, uh, the family was ready to sell the stuff. So we took it over. We took a van load home, but six units, all t uh, five by tens and five by fifteens. It's a tremendous amount of stuff. So that trailer is going to be huge in reducing the number of trips because an hour and a half to two hours each way is a lot of time. So the trailer is going to be a player for that, but we're not ready to show the videos on that just yet because we just started here. All right, let's run this one for a while. There's plenty to do here. Plenty to do. All right, in the next episode, we'll be back here. All right, and I'll be out soon. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Loganuts. All right, update on the sales. We've now sold $141,000. Almost all that's from the first unit. 
It's not much different than the last episode that I put out because sales really have slowed down the last four or five days. Seen a little bit of a dip and I don't know, maybe that's the economy, maybe something's happening. I don't know, but we are selling.